What is a psychiatric care worker? A psychiatric care worker is essentially a mental health worker. They use different types of community services and social assistance programs to help their patients get better. Psychiatric care workers also help patients with their personal and social issues, as well as teach them ways to cope. Why did I choose this job? Among the many reasons on why I chose this job, the top three reasons would be meeting new people and getting to work with a variety of them. Secondly, I want to help others move from a negative state of mind to a more positive influence state of mind. Lastly, I want to help give back to my community with my job. There are many things that sound appealing to me for this job. First, I am mostly looking forward to helping people. Secondly, give, giving others advice sounds very appealing to me. Lastly, the thing that sounds most appealing about this job would be earning my patient's trust and becoming someone they trust enough to talk to. A few things that do not sound appealing to me would be the many years of schooling. It would be around six to seven more years of, of post-secondary education. Another thing would, would be having to restrain patients who become physically violent. Some daily duties and responsibilities of a psychiatric care worker would be observing a patient's behavior and conditions, listening as well as engaging with the client's issue at hand, providing therapeutic meetings as well as different varieties of therapeutic activities. A psychiatric care worker would also be responsible for giving the patient's proper prescribed medicine by their doctor. On a daily basis, a psychiatric care worker would also have to observe the patient's vital signs um, and restrain them in case of them becoming physically violent. Lastly, a psychiatric care worker would have to take care of their patient's well-being as well as daily housekeeping. After looking through many different university programs, I have listed my top three universities. University of Victoria, York University, and lastly, Brit University of British Columbia. I have also provided a small chart of pros and cons for my reasoning, such as um, I like the programs better and where they, the locations are at. I have created a nine-year plan that starts at September of 2023 to 2032. From 2023 to 2027, I plan on attending University of Victoria to study towards my Bachelor's of Art Psychology. In September of 2025, I plan on switching programs and enrolling myself into the BSW program, which will help me get towards my Bachelor of Social Work. In 2027 to 2029, I plan on working to gain work experience for my field of profession, although I have not included my cost of living and my finances. From September of 2029 to 2032, I plan on enrolling myself in the University of Victoria again and working towards my Master's of Social Work. In order to get into Psychology BA at University of Victoria, a few prerequisites would be having a British Columbia High School Diploma, an English 11 course, Pre-Calculus 11 or Foundations of Math 11, a Science 11 course, a Humanities course, an English 12 course, and lastly, three approved Academic Grade 12 courses. A course that would benefit me would be taking Psychology 12. After two years of studying Psychology BA, I plan on switching to the BSW program at University of Victoria. The admission requirements would be having to complete the first two years of an undergraduate program at University, which would be my two years of studying Psychology BA. I need an overall average of at least 3.5 or better. Also, I would need 30 required units of the completion of SOCW 200A and 200B. Those courses would only cover three units and I would need to get the other 27 units from courses that are related to the general subjects area. Lastly, to get into the BESW program, I would need to meet the Universities of Victoria's academic writing requirements. I also plan on getting my Master's of Social Work. In order to achieve that, my Bachelor's of Social Work must be completed by April 30th of the year that I am applying for. I would also need a graduating cumulative GPA of 6.0 in the University of Victoria scale. 
Lastly, I would need at least two years or around 3,000 hours of post bachelor's of social work human service exper experience. Practicums, internships, and co-op placements do not count and will not count for the 3,000 hours. My expenses for the first four years of, at University of Victoria will cost around $74,001. My tuition for the first two years while studying Psychology BA would cost around $11,620, while the next two years after that would cost $11,169 while studying my Bachelor's of Social Work. I would also need a UVic Student Society for four years, which would cost $616 a UVic bus pass for two years while I'm living at, on campus, which would cost $648. I plan on living on, uh, on campus in a cluster room for two years, which would cost $13,908. And while living there for two years, I would need a meal plan, which would cost $6,160. Um, entertainment per month would cost around $100. So in total, for the first for the first four years, I, it would cost $1,600. And miscellaneous items per month would be around $50, which would come to a total of $800 um, for four years. After my two years of living in a cluster room um, on campus, I plan on moving to a, an apartment, which would the monthly rent would be $1,076. After two years, the cost would be around $25,824. I would need an adult monthly bus pass per month is around $85, which would come to a total of $1,360. And my ferry ride, which would be four times per year, would be around $296. This is my expenses for while getting my master's. My tuition would cost around $12,066. My UVic Grad Student Society would cost around $486. And an adult monthly bus pass per month would also be $85, which would come to around a total of $3,060. And med counseling program fee would be around $2,364. And my apartment for three years would be a monthly rent of $1,076, which comes to a total for three years of $38,736. Food per month would average around $170, and after three years, it would be a total of $6,120. And entertainment would again be $100 and would come to a total of $3,600. Um, miscellaneous items would be around $70 per month and would cost around $2,520. A ferry ride four times per year while studying my master's would be around $444. My master's years will come to a total of $69,396. After adding both all four years and plus my three years at studying my master's, my total would come to around $143,396. How I will be paying my tuitions and cost of living would be through my RESP, which is around $51,500. I plan on getting scholarships and a job as well as student loans if needed. The total tuitions of my school would be around $59,037. My RESP would cover around $51,500, leaving me with $7,537 left to pay. My cost of living for the total years that I'm in, in Victoria would cost around $81,300, and along with my um, left tuition to pay would be $7,537 and my total would come to $88,837. How will I be paying the leftover amount? I plan on getting a job starting at minimum wage and working 15 hours per week. For the first four years, I would only be there for around eight months, and each year I would earn $7,610.25, which would come to a total after four years of $30,441. 
My master's years, I plan on living in Victoria full time and yearly I will make around $11,388, which after three years would come to the total of $34,164. My total earnings of my job would be $64,605. After my leftover tuition and cost of living and my job earnings, I would still need to pay $24,232. My provincial salary average per year. The average low pay of a psychiatric care worker is around $40,000, while the highest would be around the average of $88,000. The medium would be around $71,000 yearly. A few challenges and obstacles I might face while being away from home would be feeling homesick. Some solutions to help cope would be to FaceTime and call or text my family and friends, as well as making new friends with the people around me. Another challenge would be feeling unmotivated or procrastination. I can help myself overcome the, these challenges by setting small goals for myself or rewarding myself with something small once the task at hand is completed. Another common challenge I may face would be money. Some solutions for that would be getting a job as well as going into my savings account. Lastly, I may come across the challenge of loneliness and I can overcome that by asking a friend to become a roommate, which would also help split the cost of living. I have created a list of skills and abilities that I would need to obtain in order to be a psychiatric care worker. I would need to be compassionate when working with patients, as well as having interpersonal skills, as well as observational skills. I would need to have patience and physical stamina. Lastly, I would also need to have empathy as well as being organized. I have created five goals, two short-term and three long-term. My first short-term goal is in June of 2023, I will graduate Riverside Secondary School with a 92% average. My second short-term goal is in September of 2023, I will go to the University of Victoria and study psychology and social work. My first long-term goal is in 2027, I will have a Bachelor's of Arts, Psychology, as well as a Bachelor's of Social Work. My second long-term goal is after I receive my Bachelor's, I will gain work experience in something related to my work field. Lastly, in September of 2029, I am going to enroll myself in the University of Victoria and study towards my Master's of Social Work. Lastly, here are some possible or related careers to a psychiatric care worker. There is a mental health counselor, a family social worker, an audiologist, a geneticist, a mental health social worker, and a health educator.